Greetings and welcome, Beaverkin. I'm Catherine of Sky, and we are playing Timberborn. But before we play, I have something absolutely fabulous to show you today. Um, one of the members of our community created an absolutely amazing, wonderful, humbling, and honoring thing, and I want to share that with you right now. So we are looking at right now the beaver dance, a hymn to the great chaos. <laughs> this is by Christopher St. Clair. I'm going to put his link to this video in the description below. And let's listen to this because it is so um, darn good. Um, 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 <laughs> it sounds like little beavers singing. <laughs> Greatest thing ever. <laughs> oh my god. It's fantastic. Imagine them like dancing around the campfire. This real, oh, this is fantastic. Thank you so much, Chris, for this. I am so honored. I am so humbled by your wonderful, wonderful creation. And I think if you have enjoyed this song, please go to Christopher's channel and uh, it's, it's linked in the description below. Go to this video and thumbs up until he gets like a kabillion likes and subscribe if you want to see more of his content. He has some really interesting songs on there uh, on his channel. So I hope that you will go there because wow, I am just like wowed. Thank you so, so much, Chris. I, I just, I don't even know what to say. It is like amazing just thank you so much so imagine every night they're dancing around their campfires doing the beaver dance so yes uh we're thrilled to have the beaver dance happening <laughs> it's so cool so darn cool oh my god so all right we are back in our colony and um yeah we're doing stuff and things and by the way chris did give me permission to to use the song in the video and i hope that you have enjoyed it immensely i certainly have it's lovely we might have to have that as the theme song of our series here because it's so great so what i was thinking is so these these beavers are beavering away making smaller beavers otherwise known as baby beavers and they don't have any place to grow up so i'm thinking we might put in a campfire over here but it wouldn't do to get their little paws wet so i think we might make an elevated walkway this way uh connecting this to that land area over there but we're gonna have to be just careful how we do that actually well i guess we could just do this this way it's not that bad we can just do that sure why not? Um, let's see. How do we want to arrange this thing? Do we want a road here? Maybe not. Maybe we can have one here. That would work. Let's see. If we do, let's go so, to get, get some leash. I'm just <laughs> the great white pointer in the sky is making sure that we don't die. <laughs> I love that. It's so, so good. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's so delightful. It, like, it's just yay. The yay is real. I swear it is. <laughs> the yay is real. And these people probably also need a Lido to uh, relax in. Uh, we can also extend this walkway that away. Now, do we want to have a road here? That leaves space for a two building, a two wide building, I should say. And there as well. We can take this 
Maybe we do that. I don't know what we could have on the edge there. We could have a Lido or a shrine maybe. Maybe we have a Lido over there. Maybe we do something like that. Now do shrines have to be put on? <laughs> I'm so amused, you can probably tell. Oh my God. Oh, it's so good. Uh, all right, so Lido can be, oh, it's four. Wow, all right, fancy. <clears throat> I feel like we could even put it like on this side or something like there behind the houses. So, oh, that might be actually a really good idea so that our um, beaver mommies and daddies can watch the baby beaver swim and stuff like that. You can't have them swimming unattended after all. That would be inconvenient. Let's see. Um, there we go. Oh, leisure. We're doing the beaver dance. Hey. <laughs> She, that is such a catchy song. Oh my God. <laughs> it's so great. Thank you so much for that. I'm still just like, yay. It's so fantastic. It's so good. Okay. Let's delete this. This was excess. And here, I think we can put in some shrines because the only other thing is to put single houses here. And that doesn't really work very well. Okay. So shrines, here we go. 20 wood. They cost, they cost 20 wood. All right. Let's go over here though. Let's see how we're progressing on our forest deforestation. All right. What we want to do here is it looks like this is all on one level. I thought that was actually on two levels, this section up here. So what we can do is put in a forestry shack somewhere in this area. And we'll put in a stairway kind of around here and see how far we can actually build with this. So let's see. Oh my God. I'm so excited about that. Oh, the happiness is real. I swear it is. It's really, really real, like beyond real. It's unreal. I mean, wait, it's real, but not. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> it's great. I kind of want to go all the way to the edge of the map because I'm thinking we no we're not going to like. Um, OK, you know what? Let's do that. Let's change the cutting area to basically kind of beaver away into this section of trees. And this is just prioritization, basically, so that beavers cut all those logs. All right, and things are working. We do have some of this power stuff going. Uh, let's look at that real quick. Let's have this water off. Oh, perfect, perfect, that worked. So let's add the power here. Let's get power shaft intersection there. Now here, um, this has not been built, but we do have pine resin. So we're gonna look at our tapper's shack has 36 pine resin. So I'm going to go ahead and move that up in priority. And of course, this also needs to be put up in priority. Let's go ahead and put that up as well, because we have the planks for it, I believe. Do we? Yeah, 176 planks. So we should be kind of good. And that way, this will not go to waste. And we'll go ahead and just add these power thingies over here. Now then, how do we want to connect this to that? So I was thinking about going along this edge, but it doesn't have to be. Um, well, maybe we could go up like this and go down and go there. That would be okay. Yeah, we could do that. That would be fine. I'm going to go ahead and put this power shaft up because I think we, what are we doing here? What do we have? We have this elevated walkway going there. This, um, this is not connected anywhere, is it? That's a bit dreadful. That's not good. Okay, so I think we need to have something here connecting this area with the other city, maybe. I don't know if we actually need it. We just need a connection from the main city or no, we need a connection from the distribution post, not from the other place. Oh, all right. Hold on. Okay. So what do we have at the distribution post? Cause I want to get rid of this one. We have water, bread, potatoes, carrots, uh, spatter dock and other stuff. Yes. Okay. So let's add a root here. I don't think we need water because they're doing pretty well. Uh, let's just do spatter dock. Um, let's add bread, carrots, Uh, grilled potatoes. There we go. And then we're going to add the planks and stuff over on the other side. I like to have the, f the, the food separate from the other items because 
They can only hold, what is it, 300 or 200? I might actually be overcapping slightly. Uh, no, I'm not overcapping, never mind. Uh, planks we have, we need some logs, potentially. Potentially. And then we need other stuff like explosives and gears. They did finish building the water tank. Okay, there's, wait, that's gears, and then we want explosives. Good. All right, so we have all the things. Very good, very good. Okay, so this is already being filled at 166. We don't actually have any need for water transfer, so I think we're good. Now this one, I think what we're going to do is probably just delete it. I think we delete this building. Yes, go away. Thanks. Okay, so now we have a huge area here that we can do something with. Well, not huge, but it's something. Um, all right. And here is where the other distribution post is. However, <laughs> they have no way to get to where they want to go. So if we go this way, what we could do is put in a, um, we could put a stairway down or we could have them take the, uh, walkways that are already in place. So there's a, there is a road there, but they're building this thing over the top of it. Uh, and it could, they could go that way. And I think that probably it would be just fine. So we would need to just connect. So we did not connect these houses for now. So we can pause these if we want to just pause them. So we don't have more people uh, moving in. So we can do this. And then here we need to have our district gate. So we can put that there and then we'll have a gate like right there. This is the gate to the new city. So hopefully they can build that and make everything good. <laughs> the A is real. <laughs> I'm so amused. I'm so amused. You have no idea. Like the amusement is real. The A is real. All the things are so real. Everything is getting real. <laughs> oh my God. That is such a great song. I just enjoy that. It's like singing in my head right now. Hooray. <laughs> it's so good. Okay, so um, let's see. What we want to do here, though, is we want to add some power structures. Do we have power here in these warehouses? We do. Oh, we do. You know what we could do? We could just take it from the back of a warehouse. I think it's there. It is through there. Yep. Yep. We do have power through there. So yeah, let's do that instead. Um, we're just gonna do a quick and dirty over here with this stuff. And let's do a high power shaft there and take it along the floor of this thing for now. Uh, how do we wanna connect this? I'm thinking we could do it between buildings maybe. Because if we have a building on the other side here that exists. Um, I could have been extremely sneaky though and build this up uh, uh, with warehouses. I kind of wish there was like an underbuilding connection that you could add, but I think we're going to do this legit. I want to do it legit anyway. And just do something like this where we have a a thingy thingy and that way the beavers can see stuff moving it's exciting for them you know it's great pretty great put one there and then we'll have another one here uh oopsies no 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 night no. do not okay here instead and then here's where we have our connection so that kind of fits perfectly along with that so what we need to do here is just do a power shaft this way and then a high power shaft here and then we connect these two together. Right, like this. And then put one there. And then we're going to pause one of these. So we'll just pause that one for now. Okay, so this works quite well. Uh, except for the fact that we don't have a road down there. So <laughs> just add a road uh, to get this working and moving and stuff and things. There we go. Actually, I should have done it Nay, 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 nay. Well, it doesn't matter. It it should work. So this is all underwater roading. So we don't have to add a stairway in any of this area here. 
I guess we could add one like right there. That would be okay. Wouldn't be too bad. Oh, this is exciting. Lido is happening. All right, campfire, I want to happen faster. Now here, we are going to have an issue soon because we have run out of trees to cut. So let's put in our forestry hut. Very important. Oh, okay. That's fun. So forestry hut wants to be there. Uh, it looks like we need two more trees right there. No. Okay. All right. Let's keep on cutting. Keep on cutting two more trees, please. Let's go. Yep. This, this row needs to go, I think, because I'd rather, um, put it a little bit further, but I want the road to face the left side. I don't want it to face down or up. And that's where it was to get those extra, that extra tile. So, um, the other thing we need to start doing is figure out some crop planting areas here. And I feel like dynamite might be the way to do that, to be perfectly honest. Um, alternatively, having a farm here would not be a bad idea. Having like a, an underwater shallows farm, like maybe we could grill some spatter dock here because spatter dock is actually a really good food for our beavers. So if we decide to have a farm, how big is the farm? I've kind of forgotten. Let's see. It's two by three. That's what I thought. Okay. So, um, what we can do is have a farm maybe right here. I love the way the farms look also. I think they're amazingly cu cute and cool. Let's add farm here. So that's actually perfect. Cause you know, the roads you can't build on roads anyway. So you might as well build over them with platforms. Um, it, when this one completes, I'm going to go ahead and remove that road actually, cause it's not necessary. So let's have some spatter dock here. Hello. There we go. Crops. Spatter dock. Now, should we have cattails? Maybe. Let's have a bunch of spatter dock first though. Let's add that as our main level of sustenance. And maybe we can even have cattails over here. Maybe that's what we do. I don't know how long the water is going to last in this bay. We have 3.7 days. It looks pretty good right now, but I think I want to measure it and just kind of like take a, take a look at it. Actually, let's check. Let's take that off of there and put it here instead. Put it in the deeper part. That way we can measure both tiles and see just in case we run out of one tile of water. It is actually getting quite low right now. That's not good. Not good at all, but it's okay. It is okay. We're, we're going to figure it out because the main city has so much food. It's not, not a worry at all. Okay. So main city is doing really great. I think, uh, oh, I need to unpause this. Jeez. Yeah. If they don't build it, if you don't unpause it. So why, 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 why are we not getting the pine resin up here? Hello. Pine resin, waiting for materials. Where did it go? We have 82 pine resin and I don't know why it's not getting built. It's not too far. That one doesn't have it either. I don't know where that pine resin is going to be perfectly honest, no clue. But one of the things I do want to build is I want to start getting the treated pine boards so we can go and build a wood workshop that costs 800 points. I'm wondering though, if we should get the better windmills, I think that would make a huge difference in power for us. Let's see. How are we doing on power? We have 288 and we need 520. Is that really, we need 520. We're using that little, huh? I thought we would be using more. Okay. Well, I think we're going to get the windmills. They're 1400 points, but it's a huge investment in good stuff. So I think let's start by replacing a couple of them at a time. The nice thing about the giant windmills, <laughs> the great white pointer in the sky. I love that verse. Sorry. It's coming to me. It's great. It's great. The great thing is that they are on single squares. So even though they're like shorter, um, the smaller ones are shorter, but these ones only take up one square and they're so much more efficient. So these are 400 horsepower or hamster power, and these are 200 hamster power. And, um, so, and it's proportional. So if you have wind, the wind seems to operate at a percentage. So if you have 30% wind, you're going to get 30% of 200 or 30% of 400. So you can see that there is a massive difference there. 
All right, these we want to go on high priority, of course. And then we figure out how the heck to fix these guys. I think what we do here is we just delete all of them. Yeah, I think we delete all of them and then we add our power up this way. And we'll do this one first, highest, and then these are going to be next. Now, but can we reach that one? I think we can actually. I think we can. Let's see. How how is that? Is it is reachable? Okay, so that's fine. As long as that one gets done first, it should be fine. I don't even know because I think they can build up from the ground here, so they might not need to have that one done first. Let me just go ahead and pause that one for now. Not really sure if they can reach that way, but we'll see. Okay, so now plant trees. I also want to plant some maple trees in here. Let's have our, our um, planter people, foresters, do that because it looks nice for one. Uh, all right, so yay, good, good. All right, things are going so nicely here. One of the things that I really don't miss about hard mode is like, oh my God, we got to take people off the water dump because we're not allowed to have enough citizens because there's not enough water in the whole world. That always felt kind of bad to me, so I'm really glad that we don't have to worry about that anymore. I'm, I'm very happy about that. Okay, so how we doing? Okay, so this is a workshop, but it is has no power, so we're going to pause that for now. Um, I also want, we need to have a way to get down underneath the guts of this place. So maybe we do that here. We can do a staircase like, uh, yeah, okay, that's where we are at. We do a staircase like here and then take it down to the underneath of this area. Yeah, okay, I think let's just check that. I think it's correct. Yep, it is correct. Good, very good. All right. So yay, things are going well. This is fantastic. Hooray. All right, things are going, going, going. All right, we have inventors working their tails off. How are we doing with employment? Let's see, we have 18 unemployed in our main district. I think we might send them over to the new district. Um, we did add people here, but we didn't build an extra builder's hut. We did not do that. Wait, did we build that staircase? Yeah, we built built something. Ah, yes, that one down there is good. All right, so that that's fine. We have connections. We have we have connections so that the beavers don't have to get their feet wet. That's the important thing. Okay. Not that they're aquatic sort of animals anyway. <clears throat> it's fine. It's fine. Nobody noticed. Um, let's see. So beavers not getting feet wet. What are we doing now again? Sorry, brain. Hello? Hello, brain. Where are you? <laughs> we need to put in the forestry hut. That's what we need to do. Let's put that in right now because we want to have that. Here we go. Right there. That's wow. That's quite far. I'm not sure it's worth it to... We can have it very much closer if we just put the entrance on the, that block. And I think we might need to because of these trees there. All right. Well, let's try it. Let's see what we can do with this. And then maybe we also want to put in a... Let's see. Let's cut the trees here as well. Cut this one. And see if we can put in a stairway up here and see if we can plant up there too. Uh, all right, so there we go. That's what we want to do first. But this we want to say have that on priority because it's very necessary to work well. But let's see. Let's put in some more. Let's send some more beavers to the other area. So let's migrate like, I don't know, 20 to District 6. 20. There we go. Migrate. So I think that's how many we had in excess. Of course, I know that some people will object to the term in excess because how can you have excess beautiful beavers? But yeah, 
it was a thing that might have been a thing. Okay, let's put in some more housing up here. Want to get some more cool stuff moving along. Let's put that one there as well. I want to get in a... Need a double height platform there, like that. And housing. So these are not connected yet. I'm quite aware of this. Um, but let's pause this for a moment because maybe... Do we want to put in a roof there? What we might want to do, though, is we might want to put in a beaver statue. That costs planks and boards. Let's just put one in because it's nice. We'll have the beaver watching out for for everybody. Uh, do we want a scarecrow? I never used this in the last... Um, oh, aesthetics beaver statue. Okay, cool. So we can actually put these in for variety if we want to. Now the other thing I want to do is get bees. We, have, we don't have the bees yet, I don't think. So let's get bees going on. Costs 400 science points and we need paper for that. But it does increase the gro growth speed of crops. So it's extremely important in some sense. So these are one, two, three, four, seven diameter. So what we want to do here is we want to delete some stuff. Um, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four. There we go. So one, two, three, one, two, three, and four. Okay, there we are. So that's our first B thing. Actually, we probably need to plant more spatter dock over here. Uh, all right. So I think with the bees. Because these are not aquatic bees, and I'm sure Zerkoi will will bear me out on this, I think we need to put them on platforms or levees. Let's see, do they sit on levee or do they sit on platforms? I need to check that out first. Do they? Yeah, no, they don't. Okay, okay, let's go away. Let's see if they sit on a levee, though. No, no that's a dam. That's not a levee. There we go. Might have one there. Okay, food beehives. No! Oh, must be built on the ground. Oh no! Oh, we are going to have to have aquatic bees. Well, perhaps Zerkoi can help us train the bees because obviously this would be an important thing to do is train the bees in order to be aquatic. Okay, there we go. That's fine there. And then we need one more row over here to make full use of the bees. All right. Excellent. So now let's calculate where we, we need the next beehive. I believe they do work underwater. Um, I, I have heard from several people in Discord that they do. Uh, I don't know if that has changed in the update. I don't know, but we'll we'll figure it out. We'll see if they work or not. So let's see, delete trees. So this goes to there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we need one there. And then one, two, three. One, two, three, and four there. Okay, so we have marked the other spots. Let's go on the ground here. One, two, three, and four. One, two, and four there. Okay. Two, three, four. One, two, three, there. And then in the middle, let's just do something kind of in the middle here. One, two, three, four. Okay, this could be okay right there to get these crops. I don't know if it's worth it though. It's probably worth just counting from this side. I think that side is better. One, two, three, and four. There we go. Okay, so we're going to put those there. And then, of course, they do not work on trees. Just letting you know in case you are not familiar. One, two, three, and four. Counting with KOS, by the way, today. <laughs> one, two, three, one, two, three, and there. Okay, good. So now we have places for beehives. Now we should have enough paper. We have 86 paper. So that's good. How much do they need? Uh, 20. They need a lot of paper. Okay, great, great, very great. Now, if you have islands and stuff, you can actually put in pillars of, uh, you can, or leave pillars of uh, land to have non-aquatic bees if you want non-aquatic bees. If that's your jam, that's cool too. Okay, very good. So how's it going over here? We're still shallow, worrying a bit about the shallows. Is this shallow? Yes, it is. We're working on it, working on it. Where is our water marker? Here it is. I want to put this on high priority, actually. 
So we need a beaver. Beaver, beaver. There. Um, we might change this road as well. So it's a little bit more straight. Just to reduce travel time. It's kind of important. Okay. And then here. I want to add that there. It's important. Go ahead and put a road there. Just in case it's needed. And then we're going to mark a larger cutting area. We'll just mark it all. Mark all of this stuff here. There we go. There we go. And everything, basically everything in this area, except for we don't want these to be marked. Because remember, we were going to put put in some trees there. Let's mark this area as well. I don't know if we're going to we're going to be able to get up there, but we're going to try. Uh, I would re really like this tree cut, but they'll get there, I I'm sure. So now the question is, are these only cutting trees? I'm thinking they're cutting trees. Um, we could put a maple syrup gatherer here, maybe. Uh, I don't know if they can outrace the lumberjacks. That's the question, really. So I'm going to move these as well. So we're going to move these guys so that they get the full area to work from. Kind of move them this way. Oh, that's perfect. Yes. Perfect. Okay, very good. So one of them will be able to get that edge and that's just going to be fine. Okay, so let's plant trees here. Do these, these might be chestnut worshipping trees. No, the other people I think are chestnut worshippers. Since they started out in a pine forest, I'm going to plant pines around these shrines. I think they would appreciate that. But otherwise, we want to have maple trees here. I think we'll build a tapper's shack for maple. Uh, just because it's here, it exists in this area. So we'll go ahead and put that right there. And yay. Okay, good. I wonder if I should do a, a thing where we put the warehouse underneath this shack, maybe. Maybe we do that, actually. Maybe that's what we want to do here. Um, yeah, let's do that, I think. Okay, okay, we're just going to have to redo the entire thing. Okay, it's fine. No worries, we can redo the whole thing. We want to build a warehouse. Yes. Right there. I think. Uh, maybe even one over, actually. Because they are going to need stairs to get up and down this thing. Uh, okay. There we go. And... Oh, actually. Ugh. Hold on. Hold on. I did a bad. Okay, we need to do that differently, I think. We need to do a warehouse... Like this, I think. Where we can have that going up. And that going like that. And then on top, we can put our forestry shack up here. And also the other thing. So I think we might need to delete that tree. Let's see. Demolish trees and other things that are in the way. There we go. Yay. I think that one's tall enough to have to require special permissions. Alright, so Forester is going to be up here. Uh, with road. Okay. So then we're going to have... I think we need to have just another... Maybe we need another warehouse here. I don't know. But that's going to be a lot of extra... No, I think we just have a... Uh, a stairway, and then we put the tapper's shack there. I think that's what we do. I should have done this completely differently. <laughs> Whoops. It's fine, though. It's fine. Too bad. Um, I'm almost like, huh, maybe I should have put the forestry shack there and had the other one. You know what? I'm going to redo this again because I want to have this perfect. Um, we're going to change this again. We apologize for the inconvenience, but we have to have it perfect. Okay, let's do it again. Let's see. 
And the reason for this is I want to have this thing in a perfect spot, period. Okay, there's our perfect spot. What if we do this? Okay, we want to have that. We can have it right there. Okay, so now, now we can have our storage building like this. Oh, thank you. Okay, thank you, autosave. Oh, not there, not there. That's wrong. That's wrong. Uh, it has to be one over from that. It has to be here where that tree is, which is inconvenient in the extreme. Go remove that tree. Go, go, go. Let's put this on high priority right now. See, this is going to be going like this, and then we need to have a side thing there for the warehouse. And then we have a stairway there, and that's going to be the tapper's shack on top. So I would like to also to get rid of that tree there. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and plant maples in these areas here. Okay, so that's gone. Good. Okay. Okay, beavers. Go, go, go. And then here is our warehouse. That's fine. And then we add our tapper's shack. And that saves us a little bit of room. Gives us a little bit of extra tree planting space, which is fine. Okay, very nice. And we have our warehouse. Hooray. Tapper's shack like, no, you ain't the tallest building in the land anymore. <laughs> it's like, nope. <laughs> No, no, no. All right, so this is good. All right, and we want to, let's go ahead and plant our trees. Let's go with maples here in this area, everywhere that they can be. Okay, because that is efficient for us. And I think we'll go ahead and leave this log pile there. That would be okay. It's not ideal, but if we get a hauling post in here, then life will be better. Definitely. Okay, here is a good place to build. Maybe we build a hauling post like right here. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's just get that going. Labor. There we go. Hauling post right there. And I also want a builder's hut because you can tell we are building significantly in here. Let's see. Are we? Oh, hey, we're back to water again. Yay. That's nice. Wait, did we never? We never built the farm. Oh, no. Okay, whoops. Okay, let's do it. Aquatic farmhouse. Let's go. All right, and then let's build our builder's hut. Right there. Okay, very nice. So now they got more stuff to work on, and they have shrines, and they have a campfire where they are doing the beaver dance. Hooray! <laughs> so great. All right, beavers, let's go. Let's go. Do the things and the stuff. Okay, we need to get this beaver thing done. Do we not have enough planks anymore? Surely. We, apparently we don't. Oh my god, that's rough. Okay, so I think the main problem is uh, lack of windmills. We kind of ran out of planks, I believe. So that was rough. Very rough. How's this going over here? How are we doing? Yeah, we ran out of gears. Yeah, that, that was due to no power. So yeah, that's not ideal. Okay, and of course, everything else has suffered because beehives have not been built. Nothing has been built. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. All right, so, so right now we're doing really well with stuff. This is nice. This is really great. I'm happy about these things. Getting all this stuff going. Do we have, okay, we have a person working here, which is great. Yay. Uh, so they are working on planting all the things. We're getting in the tapper's shack. That's exciting. Let's go ahead and put a nun to all these things because this is just going to be for maple syrup that we're collecting with the tapper shack. Ray. Building needs water. What? Deeper water to function. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. So, oh, it's because we... We didn't open this to fresh water. We really need the fresh water in here. We'll go ahead and adjust these to half height so that the water can flow in. How deep is this? It is, wow, it was very shallow. I'm surprised that these plants didn't die. I didn't look at the lowest point, how how low this went. I should have, it's like, whoops. 
All right. It's okay, though. We'll, we'll check it next time or when we have a disaster, whichever comes first. <laughs> yeah, one of those things. Okay, so we do have people collecting scavenged stuff. Now then, what we want to do, maybe, is put in stuff over here. So how is this functioning? Do we have this set up? Some of it. Yay. Okay. So I want to get some dynamite. Okay, so this is, that was a lumberjack flag. So I want to put that right there. We want to blow up that square. That is our goal. Because we want to get a pathway underneath here so these people can work on stuff and also kind of go around these buildings. So we need to research the dynamitingness stuff. Did we do that already? We might have done. Let's see. No, we don't have it. Okay, this is 600 points. Yes. Wait, what was that? Oh, dynamite and explosives. Ah, yes, of course. We need both. So we need more science points. So anybody at the... Why are these not built yet? Why is this not built? It doesn't have any pine resin. I don't get why it doesn't have pine resin. We should have it. Pine resin, 16, just in that shack. And yet it's not getting any. I don't get this at all. It's in range of the builders. What is going on with this thing? Jeez. Okay, we have one gear maker here. I think we need a second gear maker for now. Let's go ahead and build one. Uh, because we need to have some going. Let's go and put that on priority so that they can start making lots of gears. Because we have planks aplenty, but not enough gears. And then this can be unpaused, of course, so that they can finish that. But yeah, they're not going to get any of this until we get people over there to fix it. What we could do, though, is maybe we take st a stairway down here. Let's just do that real quick so that we can actually build this power shaft so that they can build their own planks over there. Okay, so this is going to get going. We just need four planks for that to go. Oh, we have bees. Oh my god, underwater bees. Look at that. You can see them like making currents in the river as well. I can't wait to see what Zerkoi is going to say about that. <laughs> That's great. So great. We have lots of water. Lots of water power here. We have 1500 power currently being made. Constructed from the sky. <laughs> the great white arrow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so here we have things planted. That's great. That's looking very nice. Looks like we need gears, planks, and logs for this. We really need to make these logs. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this building up for whomever might want to work there. This needs to be... As soon as we get that, I think the builders will be able to go down and build these power shafts. That seems like the fastest way to get them there. But we'll see. Let's see, this is windmill. Everything needs something, right? Everything needs something. Now, do we need more people? Let's see. In Snacktopia, we have... 12 unemployed people. I think we would love to have another builder's hut. So I'm going to build, maybe we build that builder's hut somewhere, somewhere, somewhere is a good where. I would agree with that. We could build it up here. This is uh, meant to be for snacking, but might be good to actually put it in a place like over here. Let's see, we could build another water uh, collection thing as well. Let's see, labor, builder's hut. So we could put something like here, like right there. Maybe build two of them. That way we're going to get materials to where they need to go. Okay, and then, of course, in this industrial center, I really want to get those other things moving on. Okay, so explosives factory, let's get that moved on. Perfect, perfect. Okay, very nice. 
But I really want them to just build this stuff. Okay, can they reach these? Yeah, they can reach the entire section here, so that's fine. But I want to get that made. Come on, let's go. And here, we, we need to really build something kind of exciting here. Okay, let's just take that that way. And we want to have our smelter. Oh, that's big. All right, that's a little bit bigger than I thought. That's okay, we can, we can adjust for it, it's fine. So the smelter is a brand new building. I have never used it before, but it's kind of exciting. It's different than the grinder. I kind of like the grinder. I thought it was quite cool, but they got they they said that they might introduce it later uh in in some fashion. I'm not sure why they didn't just make the grinder a grinder, you know, like just instead of having a smelter just make all the metal being ground. I don't I don't know why that wasn't a thing. But it's okay. We're going to just use it. The mine is 4,000 science points, which is a lot of science points. Wait, let's just check these again. Why are these not being built? They have roads. They have everything. They don't have gears, but why is the resin not delivered? Okay, one of them got resin. The other did not. They just need gears. Okay. All right, come on, beavers. Let's go. Go ahead and open these up to as many employees as we can. All right, there we go. Okay, so another issue that we're having here, and maybe we want to do something about this, is that a lot of water is escaping through this area. So what we want to do probably here is put a dam in here. I think we, we definitely want to have a dam in here. Right now we can actually delete the road because it doesn't need to be there and just put a dam right there. So the dam is good for overflow. So I don't want to like completely, um, it's not necessary to completely shut off water flow, but it will kind of push it back a bit and say, you know, you should go through those water wheels over there. So I think that's that's good enough for this. Okay, I'm just going to put dams the whole way. Or I'll put one there, then the rest can be levees. And that'll just like complete that area. We can also have a little road going along this way as well. So we can just do that. Okay, there we go. All right, working pretty well. We are getting planks. So this is exciting. This is like the first step of anything is like getting those planks made. That's pretty, pretty cool. Pretty darn cool. We can't, maybe we get another planks factory as well because now we're actually starting to have materials. Oops, that's not the right one. No, 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 no. Okay, let's do a double platform there. And to everyone who says KOS, you can do shift delete. It's much easier to do on my left hand, two fingers to do delete, enter, delete, enter. I know, I know about shift delete for a long time now, but um, it is a good thing if you, but it's just awkward on my left hand. And I also can't see because my microphone is right in the way. So let's see, uh, let us get a road here and put in another planks factory. There we go, another lumber mill, hooray. We'll go ahead and prioritize this up. We'll go ahead and prioritize a number of things up, actually. Can I, we don't have any cutting for over here. I kind of want to get some of those trees cut, but then I have to remove the whole cutting orders and it's kind of inconvenient and things and stuff. Yeah, let's also get this one up. Anything else? No, I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, now we have a big windmill here. We're generating a lot more power now as well, 2,000. But once we get this dam in, I'm really curious how much this is going to go up. Of course, it's going to be hard to measure because we're going to have windmills as well. So, because this one's like 330, this one is 165. So those are kind of variable and we're building more windmills all the time. Hopefully. Hopefully we are. 
Why are these here? I'm just going to put these on highest priority because they're not getting the materials they need. Dang it. Game. Why? Just make one for goodness sake. Okay, and these things are also not being cut. I think that's because we've had an issue with stairways here. And I think we need to delete one of the crops. They need to be deleted by a builder, I believe. So, wait, stop. Don't move, beaver. Do not. Uh, let's get this. Aha. Yes, that should solve everything. I hope, maybe. I don't know if that will help anything or not. It'll help something. I don't know if it'll help many things, but it'll help something at least. All right, so here we have the water here. They can enjoy the Lido. I also want to get the mud baths because those are exciting. We do need the specialized treated wood for that as well. So that seems fun. Fun mud bath. Yay. It's 1800 science points though. It's expensive. But I dare say we have enough for a carousel. This is pretty cool. This is exciting. We won't even have to have it just running in the summer, hopefully, with, with enough windmills and stuff. Okay, so we have 1,700 water now. Need to get some stuff going on. Let's go, folks. Oh, gosh, I forgot to put in the, uh, the lumberjacks. Well, then, that would help. I think it would help very much with actually cutting trees here. Yeah. I, I think that might be a key opportunity for us. Yes, we'll put those on highest priority. Jeez, I can't believe that. Can't believe I forgot that part. Yes. All right. Let's just do that because these people are not getting their own wood. They have to wait for it to be delivered. So those should be should be good to go. Meanwhile, our forester is faithfully planting trees. All right, so I think this is probably a great place to finish off for today. Our new colony is looking amazing. Remember, if you enjoyed the beaver song, look in the description below or in the first comment. I'll try to pin the comment with the link to Chris's uh, video. Please like it. It is so fabulous. And thank you so much, Chris. I, I cannot even begin to express my appreciation for that awesome awesome song you created for us it's so cool <laughs> it's so cool <laughs> I, I just love about the pointer in the sky making sure we don't die that's <laughs> so great so anyway thank you so very much for joining me take care of yourselves and each other and i'll see you next time Wait.